Hey, I'm Roger and welcome to Not The Shop. I'm uh, doing a little volunteer work for a nonprofit in the kitchen and I'm relighting some lights. Uh, we're going to be replacing fluorescents with LED tubes like I have right here. And I have done a couple of videos on this in the past, but a lot of people say there's not enough detail there. I need to know more about that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about these tubes. Uh, there's two different types of what they call ballast bypass LED tubes. Here's one of them right here. One type is fed from one end. So you've got two pins here and one side would be hot, one side would be the neutral, and then the other end is just a dummy. Now I like to use what they call double end, so you got the hot end coming into one end, the neutral coming into the other end. The reason being is if you happen to have a fixture that has what they call a shunted socket, where you have two pins there but they're common to each other, you cannot use those for a single end feed. That's why I always like to use the double end feed and uh, keeps the hot on this side and the neutral on this side and I will go through, I'll do every fixture that way. And as I get one of these taken apart, I'll go into more detail about what wires go where. Um, and as I said, this is called ballast bypass. So there will no be, not be any ballast anymore. You can either abandon them in place, cut the wires off of them, or you can remove them. It's uh, entirely up to you. But uh, as you can see, the lighting in here is pretty dim. It needs to have some improvement. I've got one of them open here right now. So I'm going to get going here. I'll get this taken apart, and then I'll bring you in close and show you how to do the wiring. Okay, looking up at the light right here, the, uh, you know, it's not the best lighting, but that's why we're in here. We're fixing lighting. So what you'll have is uh, anywhere from uh, two to six or eight wires coming from each end. What you want to do is make those common to each other. For example, right here, I've taken the, uh, uh, the two yellows, the two reds, the two blues. We've tied them all together, and I've, then I've gone to a black. That's my hot end. I've done the same thing on the other end. Put all the wires together, make all of them common. You could, if you really wanted to, to take the fixture apart and eliminate down and just do one wire per socket. But this is the quickest, easiest. I've also removed the ballast, uh, and they will be disposed of, recycled. And no, they do not have PCBs. They're all marked PCB free. I made sure of that, so somebody doesn't need to holler at me about that part. So what I need to do now is get the ballast cover back in here, do a little bit of cleanup, and we'll get some tubes in it. Makes a difference. So there's a difference. I haven't put the diffuser back on it yet, but as you can see, there's a world of difference there. It's also a lot better color temperature. If you look at the uh, light next to it over there, you can tell how yellow that is, how much whiter this is, and it's going to put a lot better uh, lighting and color into this kitchen. Okay, our project's done. As you can see, it's a whole lot brighter in here and a whole lot whiter. And these LED lamps uh, pull 23 watts, where a uh, conventional fluorescent tube will draw either 32 watts or 40 watts. So it's basically using half the power, roughly. And it'll, it'll definitely save you an electric bill, and the uh, life of these is uh, quite a bit more than what the fluorescents are. So where to get these lamps, I will put a link in the description. I, I get these on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description on where you can get some. And it's not difficult. There's nine lights in here. It took me about two hours. So not bad. That included getting things cleaned up and everything. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger doing a little lighting for a nonprofit. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.